Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm bringing you swatches, a demo on my eye look today, and just a whole review of the, the nude stick. <laughs> Why can't I say nude sticks? The nude sticks magnetic eye colors. I have both the matte and the luminous versions. I have three of each formula, so I'm bringing you again some swatches, a full review of what I think about this. I've been using these for about a year now, so I definitely have a really clear idea of how I feel they work for me. I do hope that today's video is helpful, and if it is, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I hope you'll subscribe. I do also want to mention that this video is the first day of one week of cream eyeshadows on my channel, which is when I review a new cream eyeshadow on my channel for an entire week. And I've been working really hard on these reviews. I hope you enjoy them. I'll leave my playlist linked down below if you'd like to follow. I have Luminous, Matte, Drugstore, High End. I have so many different reviews, comparisons. Hope you guys are excited about that. So let's just jump in. I actually bought this set. It's the Nude Sticks Artist Box and it comes with six of these. I have plenty of colors to swatch out for you guys. Both the Luminous and the Magnetic Matte retail for $26 and you get 0.1 ounces in here. That's actually a decent amount of product for a stick. Typically the stick form has a little bit less product than a pot. So this definitely is a decent amount of product for a stick and they range, but there are around 22 shades of these. I really like that there are so many options. Some other cream eyeshadows don't have as many options. You know, they come out with about five shades. So I love that there are so many color options in the nude sticks line. So these are three in one eye pencils and they can be used as eyeshadow, as a base, or as a liner. So really anywhere on the eyes. They're meant to be a very budge proof eye product. So they're really going to stay on the lids and last all day. But nude sticks also says that this is a very creamy formula that is buildable, but creamy and hydrating so that it's easy to blend when you actually go to blend it out on your eye. I love that in this set in particular, it, I think this was around $59 and you get so many shades. So the price per ounce is obviously better, but I like that it comes with this little tin. You can keep them all together. Together. It takes up just as much room as say a regular powder eyeshadow palette. So I think that that's really cute. So let's quickly talk about the formula of this product. So both of these claim to be very pigmented and long wear products that again, will be creamy and easy to blend. So let's kind of break all of that down and I'll give you my thoughts on that. These do have great pigmentation, especially the matte shades. The matte shades give you a lot of rich pigment right off the bat. As for the formula, I don't think that these are as creamy as nude sticks might say they are. Um, they do have a creaminess. There's no like tugging when you apply them onto the eye if you just go straight from the stick. And I think that's kind of everyone's instinct to go straight from the stick with a product like this. And also nude sticks demos them that way. But I actually think that depending on how you're using them, it's much better to go in with a brush. For example, I actually used the shade taupe in my crease today in the demo. And I felt like it gave me such a better blend when I went in with a more fluffy brush and did it that way. Whereas if I was to go in just in my crease to apply it and then tap it out with my fingers, I feel like with this product, you have to be very intentional with where you place the pigment because it will stay there. These really are budge proof products. They actually remind me of like a hybrid between a cream eyeshadow and a cream liner. They give you a lot of pigment and these are going to last a very long time. But what you get in pigmentation and long wear, I do think you sacrifice in how easy these are to blend or how quickly you can get a look together. Wherever you place it, it's going to take a little bit of time to blend. I do really like the matte shades because they last so long and because they will give you pigmentation. And wherever you put them, they like kind of immediately set down. I wish there was a little bit more time to work with the product. As for the shimmer shades, I'm a lot less impressed with these, unfortunately. They really don't give me enough shine as long as there is like some light reflection and it looks really pretty on the eyes i don't mind it being a more subtle shimmer 
but unfortunately these have the same formula as the matte formula in a sense that wherever you put them they immediately stick so that in combination with the shine kind of being a little subdued i feel like these look a little bit textured on my eyelids at least i do have dry skin and then the sheen isn't really healthy it just kind of is a little bit flat to me I don't reach for them because i know that i could even just reach for a cream highlight and put that in my inner corners and get a little bit more life out of it these do last a long time and they aren't cracky like neither of these crack off um and that is like something awesome to keep in mind I actually quite like the putty shade because I can apply it onto the lids and it really, and that color will stay as well as the taupe shade. I think these matte shades are good for what they are. Something else to keep in mind is that I do think that these would be awesome for those of you with very, very oily eyelids that want a very long lasting cream eyeshadow. I do think that these would really work well for you. I think if you're looking for budge proof makeup in a cream format, these are awesome. But if you're looking for something super effortless and easy for quick makeup, I don't think that these necessarily are it, at least for me. Please let me know if you guys have any more questions about these, I'm happy to help. Definitely stick around for the rest of one week of cream eyeshadows. So many reviews coming up and then also my kind of grand finale, which will be my favorite cream eyeshadows. I hope you guys are having a good one and I will see you in my next one.